Hey everybody, we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadiens a little bit here, and I don't know what is the bigger story, Shea Weber coming back or Carl Alsner getting waived. Before we get into it, I just want to say if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, to please hit that subscribe button. I do videos on topics from across the NHL, so as long as you're a fan of hockey and a fan of the NHL, there are videos here for you. Thank you. So, Shea Weber's back. Shea Weber will return to the Montreal Canadiens lineup. Um, he is good to go. He's back sooner than anticipated. Um, his recovery went a little bit faster. But uh, that is a huge boost to a Montreal Canadiens team that got off to a very, very good start this year. They've started to slip a little bit the last couple of weeks. So, uh, Weber's return might come at the perfect time for the Canadiens. And uh, he might give them a jolt back and, and help them win some more games. But with Weber's return, somebody needed to go. Because obviously you have someone new coming off of IR. Somebody's spot is getting taken. And of all people, that person who's ended up get spot getting taken is Carl Alsner. Who just two summers ago, Montreal signed to a massive five-year contract and in free agency worth 4.625 million per year so Alsner has been waived he was waived yesterday he cleared waivers nobody wants him and he has been assigned to the Laval Rocket of the AHL which is Montreal's AHL minor league team so Alsner is sent to the minors in year two of his five-year contract what a hard fall for Carl Alsner. Alsner spent the first nine years of his career with the Washington Capitals organization, where he became a very good defensive defenseman. He was a top four defenseman. He played a lot of minutes, and he was thought of as, you know, a, a really, you know, solid defenseman. So, a couple summers ago, he's a free agent. Washington can't afford to keep him. He's going to get they know he's going to get big money in free agency. Washington's got to focus on keeping John Carlson, who is the much better defenseman and much more offensively better than Alsner. So, Carlson is Washington's guy, which means Alsner is going to go. But Alsner, again, thought of as a very good defensive defenseman and a really solid guy who can help out a lot of teams. You knew he was going to get big money in free agency. Not, I mean, not big money as in like superstar, you know, eight, nine million dollars a year money, but a solid contract. You knew he would get a solid contract around, around four and a half million per year for a you know, number three, four defensive defenseman. Alsner signs a five-year deal with the Montreal Canadiens who needed help on defense at $4.625 million per year as an AAV, annual value. Um, in his first year with Montreal, he played all 82 games last season. He had one goal, 11 assists for 12 points and was minus seven. He was okay. He wasn't the the splash, the free agent splash that Montreal wanted him to be. He wasn't the game-changing defenseman that they wanted him to be. He didn't sure things up, any, in particular, any better on the back end. And honestly, at points, he really struggled. Um, the 12 points wasn't a huge issue because he's never been a real offensive guy. I mean, with Washington, there were some years where he would get around 20, maybe a little more than 20 points, but he was never a big offensive guy who was going to give you 35, 40 points from the back end. So I don't think they were awful worried about the 12 points. I think they were worried about his play in his own end. He turned the puck over a lot. He made a lot of mistakes. He just wasn't that sure-handed defensive defenseman that they thought they were getting. I really, I thought he became kind of a pylon last year. Um, not not all that great. And then this year, this year has been even worse. Uh, this season, he's only played eight games. So he was a healthy scratch for, you know, Montreal's played more than 20 games. He only played eight of them. He was not even in the, a regular in the lineup. And in the, in his eight games, he only had one point, which is an assist. He was plus two, so I guess he wasn't a huge liability, but he wasn't playing. Um, 
and and he's just he's been a massive disappointment. So this is year two. Really, we're only like a quarter of the way into the season. So he's only made it into a, a year and a quarter into his contract, and he is already being sent to the minors. Not scratched, not traded. Montreal tried to trade him. That came out this morning. Montreal opened the door for offers. Nobody wanted him. Not at this contract. Are you kidding me? Four point six two five million for a defenseman that you're sending to the freaking minors. A thirty-year-old defenseman who's supposed to who just signed a big contract who's supposed to be one of your best defensive players is getting sent to the freaking minors. He stinks. Alsner has become an absolute pylon over the last couple of years. He stinks. I watch him play, and I, I've seen him, and, you know, I don't watch the Canadians every night, but I've seen enough of their games to be like, what the frig is this guy doing? The turnovers are horrendous. The defensive mistakes. You know, when you're an offensive defenseman like Tory Krug in Boston, Tory Krug will turn the puck over, okay? He, turn, he makes mistakes in his own end. He turns the puck over sometimes. It's okay because he backs it up with 50 points. When you rack up points from the back end, like an, like it, obviously Eric Carlson's an elite offensive defenseman, but when you're an Eric Carlson or when you're a Tory Krug or a John Klingberg or somebody who racks up points from the back end, teams will take a little bit, a few defensive mistakes. Hey, you know what? You're trying to make a play. Shit happens. You, you make up for it with your offense. Carl Alsner... He doesn't make up for it with his offense. He can't be making bad defensive mistakes. And he has been. And he really, quite frankly, hasn't looked the same since he was in Washington. I think being in Washington and having that group around him made him look better than he actually was. And now he went to Montreal, where their defense is certainly on the lacking side, as far as NHL defenses go. And he's been exposed for what he is, which is a mediocre defenseman. And I think he's gotten worse. I think he's gotten worse over the last couple of seasons. And he is, has. it's turned out that this is not a good contract. This has not at all worked out for the Canadians. And now they're sending him to the AHL. It's just, it's just, it's shocking. But it's just like, man, what a hard fall for Carl Alsner. And get this, when he left Washington... He said he wanted to go to a team where he could win a Stanley Cup. He left the Washington Capitals to sign in Montreal hoping to win a Stanley Cup. And then, in the year after he leaves, the Capitals win a cup, which they could never do when he was there. Montreal absolutely has a disaster of a season and doesn't even make the playoffs. In the next year, the next year, he plays eight games and is sent to the freaking AHL. Hey, he's getting paid. He's collecting his check. But, oh, my God. He's getting paid, which is the only good thing for him. Because, oh, my God, is he falling flat on his face. This reminds me a lot of um, when Wade Redden signed that huge contract with the New York Rangers and then absolutely blew, absolutely blew for the Rangers. And what was it, like a year and a half later, he got sent to Hartford, waved down in the AHL, buried in the minors. And I, I mean, I, you know, the Providence Bruins, who I go and watch a lot and see a lot of their games play Hartford all the time because they're in the same division. I remember back then seeing Wade Redden making like $6 million a year as for the New York Rangers playing for the freaking Hartford Wolf Pack in the AHL because he got waived because he sucked so bad. This reminds me a lot of that. Alsner signs a big contract and then sucks so bad that he gets waived and sent to the AHL where he'll be playing for the Laval Rocket. Wow. He's got to turn it around quick or he is, his NHL career could be over if he doesn't turn it around quick. We'll see what he looks like in the AHL. You would think he should dominate down there, but you know what if he doesn't? 
his his NHL career could be over. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, Shea Weber's back from Montreal. Carl Alsner waved to the AHL because he sucks. And with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the link to our merch store as well as our Patreon page are also in the description. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.